Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm so happy that you have joined me once again. Um, this is episode 13, and I have my favorite guest back with me again because, once again, I can't talk about this without him. So we want to just come to you guys and talk to you about moving away from home and what they can do for you personally, relationship-wise. So yeah, we just want to talk to you guys about that, give you our um, review, I guess, of moving away from home. The reason we are going to talk about this is because we're moving back home. Back to Memphis <laughs> we come. Back so, to the M. Hey, if you already knew, congratulations to you. But if you didn't, <laughs> now you know. Now you know. <laughs> I guess I'll start because I don't want to forget this. But first of all, this whole idea came from a joke because we were having like, we were both having stressful days at work. And I think you had said something like, let's just pack up, go home, and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it was like an eyeball. This conversation like, uh, and this is a while ago. This was yeah. a while ago. <laughs> like two months? Maybe more than that. Oh, I don't probably. know. And but we were like, I mean, we can't do that if we want to do that. Like, we're grown. We don't have yeah. to stay here. Yeah. But I guess the thing that really dictated our decision to move back home is, you know, we want to be back around our family again. And now here, I mean, we've met so many great people. We, yes. We've made so many friends and everything. Like, shout out to all of you. You know who you are if you're listening. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, we miss our folks. And even though I love Georgia and, like... He loves the beach. Love the beach. I love the vibes. He loves the beach. He loves the beach so much that we have already decided, like, okay, one day we're going to get a house here just so we can come vacate. <laughs> just for you. This is going to be <laughs> the vacation spot for sure. Yeah. Shout out to Savannah, man. We love it out here. Well, I love it. She may have some different things to say about it, but I think it's a great place to raise a family. But aside from that, I actually couldn't be more than happy to be going back to my family you know um some things have changed you know back in the city so i guess one exciting thing that we can look at it as is like so much has changed back in the city so we get to go back home and rediscover it's our like own hometown big like when we're coming to savannah it's gonna be the same way like it's so much new stuff back home mm -hmm. Um, so much to do that we haven't done. Just so many things to discover. So I really feel like we'll we'll take that same approach that we had to Savannah to going back home just to make it feel new, you know? So as he mentioned, I had my own thoughts about Savannah. So this is my thing. Y'all know me. I'm super entrepreneur, like I'm super I'm just the business head. <laughs> and this just this just isn't the environment. And I think I lost I lost a spark a long time ago, like being here, but I didn't really realize, I didn't realize what that was back then. This was like, I don't know, probably like six months ago at this point, but it's like, I finally realized like, oh, maybe that's what it is. Like, I'm not, I'm not in that environment where it's hustle, hustle, hustle. And right now that's what I need. I need hustle, hustle, hustle. I need people who are hustling around me and here it's more so of a laid back yeah it's very laid back it's a vacation spot most of the people here have made it to where they want to be already it's not like a lot of young people although there are colleges out here and stuff but yeah i mean there are young people out here yeah. it's just the like out here most of the people aren't even from here true so think about like seriously most of the people out in this savannah Hilton Head area, they're from somewhere else across the country and in some cases from across the world. Yeah. And it's like it's a it's kind of like a spot where a final spot for a lot of people. Like yeah. people literally move here at the end of their careers to retire. Yep. Like that is a big thing down here. And like you a, know, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, well, it's cool. Like I guess <laughs> a good way to say to segue into back what you were saying and how you want to be around, you know, other entrepreneurs, other hustlers, and mm -hmm. how, you know, you kind of lost that spark for things. But 
even though you may have lost that spark for things, I've seen you continue to grind, grind, and grind. So she's been able to deal with that change regardless of how sure. she's feeling because, like, you know, she's become more consistent with this podcast. She's become more consistent with doing things for her business, for her brand, and she's actually grown it, learned so much in the process, you know, actually got to experience having your own spot in in your own place. Yeah. So, like, you know, even though there were some negative aspects about, you know, her and her business ventures and her entrepreneurship lifestyle for moving here, you know, she's still been able to deal with that incredibly well, if you ask me. Thank you. I appreciate that, babe. I appreciate that. And it's so crazy because he says that all the time, and I'm just like, mm, it's not enough. And it's not that it's not enough. It's just not where I would like it to be. I would like to put so much more in, do so much more, do events. Like, I, I would just like to do more. So if I want to do more, I can't stay in a place that's not for that, if that makes any sense. So, In other words, she she wants to be... Not only around other entrepreneurs mm -hmm. uh, or, or more other like-minded people. Yeah. You want to be around your target audience. audience. That's, mm -hmm. yes. And, the target audience not here. Um, well, they are <laughs> they here. They are here, but I don't know where they at. <laughs> I don't know where they at. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's out here. It's just, it's not the environment to push a, a young person's brand new brand. Yeah, I mean, not, not my type of brand. Yeah, not her her doing. brand. It's like specifically, yeah. like her her target her target audience just isn't out here. But back home, she's in the middle of it, and yeah. not far from other cities where she can go and promote and market her business. Mm -hmm. So it's going to create a lot more momentum. Yeah, for dynamic, and I'm I am. So excited. Yeah, she's hyped. Like, I am so excited. It's like, I feel like well, since I've been here, I've been learning a lot. I've just been taking in knowledge. Even when I couldn't do anything physically, I've just been taking in knowledge, learning as much as I can. So I feel like I'm ready to go back to Memphis, this big city, and give it everything I've got, give it everything I've learned so far. So super excited about that. Um, I was going to say earlier, that most of my favorite people here are 10, 20, 30 years older than me. <laughs> like, those are my favorite people that I've met so far. Yeah, that's weird. Aside from the people we work with. Yeah, aside like, from them. Like, the people we work with. They're younger. You know, yeah, they're more so around our age, and they've mm -hmm. been awesome, too. Though. You guys. I'm a cry. <laughs> You guys know who you are. Y'all have made all the difference in the world. For sure. Um, us just coming here and you know kickstarting our lives together and we really appreciate that from you all y'all know yes, who you are yes oh my gosh mm -hmm. this has been the greatest company i've worked for so far i've met some of the greatest people like when we first came to savannah and we just visited it was weird because everybody was nice and we were just <laughs> like what is this yeah. you know sometimes in memphis people are a little hostile I don't know what, I don't know. People are just a little hostile. But here, Some nice people in Memphis. It's some nice people, oh, yeah. but the majority, let's be real, they're a little hostile. Or mean. Like, I don't know. And maybe you don't realize that until you actually spend some time in a place like yeah. Savannah where everybody's just happy. I think I, I saw know. a statistic somewhere. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere. It must somewhere. be the beach. People who live closer to the beach... Mm. Are happier. Mm, it's that ocean. <laughs> so about that ocean, ocean water. water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everybody's just so nice. Everybody was so welcoming. I mean, you know, you got a few bad apples, but whatever. Uh, but everybody's so nice and cool. Um, I really appreciate that about the company we work for. It's been a journey. Um, one thing I did want to get into is uh, our whole review of moving away from home. What's that been like for us? as a whole and how that journey has changed us as people so you want to start yeah i guess i could say the growth that i experienced here in savannah moving away from home i don't think i would have obtained this same level of growth in such a 
familiar. short period oh. of time, really, mm -hmm. um, or a familiar environment, yeah, mm -hmm. where you know I've got everyone in my back pocket I could go to for anything, you know. Yeah. And out here, you know, it's it's just us, us and the dog. Us <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> and <clears throat> it was almost like going away for college a second time, in a sense. And it just for context, though. we just reached the two-year mark of moving away from home. I don't think we mentioned that. But, yeah, yes. it, it's been two years. Two years. Two full years. Two full years. And... You know, we get to go back home with so much that we've learned, so much knowledge, so much, like, just life stuff in general. Mm -hmm. Like, like it, it's amazing what just going away could really do for your adult development. It's crazy yeah. to say, like, we're like, still developing. We, two years is not a long time, but we have been through so much in those two years, stuff that nobody knows about. We learned how to navigate through those situations. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a million people that we could run to or call. We couldn't run away from our problems. We had to figure it out. Like, we had to figure out ways to spend time with each other. We had to figure out ways to pay bills. We had to figure out a whole bunch of stuff. It's so much that comes with living on your own and living away from family. And it can really grow you in a way you can't even imagine. Like, I, the mindset that I have now... The peace, oh my gosh, the peace that I have now, couldn't have gotten that back home. And it's nothing against nobody. It's just, that's a familiar space. When you're not pushed to your limit, yeah, you, you don't get better. It's just like mm -hmm. playing individual sports such as tennis where you play against the same person or you play against one person. And but if you're constantly playing against the same people, no matter how good they are, yeah. you're you're actually not going to get better because you're so used to knowing their game. You know their game, you know their tricks. But and then you go some and play someone else, you know, you're so used to playing one person and you adjust how they play. Or even being a singles tennis player and you go you have to play doubles. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, I've been doing yeah. this this way for a long time. I don't know how to adjust to, like, it grows you. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. I would do it over again ten times over the yeah. same way just because it it had to happen this way. I feel like this was a transformation requires isolation type of thing. And we both really changed we've grown so much we're not the same people we were when we left memphis and i think that was god's point i really think he wanted to get us away from it all rearrange some things in us and plant some seeds plant some seeds in us and now we can go back and we can conquer the world yeah <laughs> that's the plan like we both have so many aspirations and mm -hmm. you know she's she's a far a lot far ahead of me <laughs> Uh, with her her ventures and her business ventures. But, you know, being here and actually going through some type of struggle, you know, it's helped me really realize, okay, um, in order for me, for things to change, you know, I have to make a change. And I was pushed in a way that I don't think I would have gotten pushed back home. And I'm, I'm just grateful to God for that. Mm -hmm. Man, it's, it's really made a difference and, and is going to continue making a difference in our lives, you know, and other lives down the line, yep. including our family, future children, friends even, you know, we want to be those people that make differences in people's lives. And, mm -hmm. you know, it takes hard work to be that kind of difference maker. Like, you, you really have to. So, just like with Dynamic. I couldn't give y'all this podcast. I couldn't give you a brand that's supposed to encourage you if I didn't go through nothing. Mm -hmm. I can't help my friends through anything if I don't go through anything. I can't. You just have to go through it in order to understand it sometimes. And I really feel like we've went through some things that we, we understand now. And we have a different outlook on all of these different things um, relationship-wise, life-wise, adult Hood wise, like we have a totally different outlook on things, and um, we just have to go through it to yeah. learn. I completely agree. It's just like 
we were talking the other day and I mentioned to her, you know, our lives, especially yours and what you're doing, like you're living the life that your brand is portraying. Mm -hmm. The change, the progression, the growth, like it's all happening. It's happening every day. And right after I said that, you mentioned, and it starts over. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's a after you change. It's a cycle, and you progress and you grow. It starts over. Like yep, there's something you else. Continue to get better. You know, we'll never be perfect human beings. We're never it's, be, it's impossible. Oh, yeah. But we can always strive for that improvement in whatever way that they that it may be. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just think it's great that we get to actually show you guys. You know that not only is this just a brand, mm -hmm. but she's created a brand that we're actually able to live out. Yes, literally yes. live out. And that's what that's one thing I always wanted. You know, I didn't know it had to come like this. You know, <laughs> I didn't know it had to come with so many twists and turns. But I always wanted this brand to be real. I wanted it to be. This is more than clothing. This is a lifestyle. And this is a lifestyle that I'm living. This is a lifestyle that you can live too. But I had to live it. I had to live it in order to be the voice for it. Because if I didn't live it, I would just be lying to you every day. I wouldn't have anything good to say to you. Some real stuff. Yeah. But stepping out on faith. Just doing it. Like. <clears throat> I just remember. Um, <laughs> I'm such a cry baby. I remember us going out to eat. And I think that's when I had told you, like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. We're going to go. We're going to do this. And I was just crying because I'm like, okay. It's about moving? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, this <laughs> is just, oh, I've been away from my parents and my family, but not like this. Like, <laughs> yeah. we like 10 hours away. This is crazy. <laughs> you want me to? And, okay, so when he, when he was looking for, you know, jobs, he told me, like, he was looking everywhere. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm thinking, okay, we'll go to Nashville or. Alabama, Atlanta. I was literally looking. This everywhere. man said Savannah. <laughs> See, this was in the heat of COVID, yeah. like the heat of COVID in 2020. This was 2020. Yeah. No. Well, it started. Your it search. started late 2020. My search because yeah. the current job I was in, were basically at a hiring freeze of some sorts, mm -hmm. and it stunted my ability to be able to actually grow and get promoted mm -hmm. like I was due to at the time. Like I had been with the company for two years or well, at, at the point I started looking, it was more like a year and eight months, maybe all the regional guys, everyone was telling me hey, it's time for me to be promoted. It was just a matter of when something was open. Mm -hmm. it was, it, nothing would open was opening. Up. Yeah. It was COVID. Nobody's about to quit yeah. their job. Nobody's about to leave. Especially so. with that company. No one was leaving that company yeah. during COVID. It was it was just too much security. We were <laughs> in the transportation industry and the transportation industry, if anything, grew during COVID. Like it, it didn't stop. Mm -hmm. You know, and we were a major part of the supply chain. So I, I hated to leave the company. Ooh. Hated it. Yeah, hated yeah. it. Maybe but, back in your future. You never know. You never, <laughs> never know what God got going on up there. <laughs> but either way, like, you know, yeah, I was open to wherever and i remember applying you know when you're applying to jobs a lot of times like you're reading the descriptions and requirements but you're just filling out applications just to see if you could get someone to call you or email you mm -hmm. but uh so i mean that's pretty much what i was doing and i remember applying to it was actually a customer of my job i was currently in at the time mm -hmm. i remember applying i remember it saying savannah georgia I never really expected them to reach back out and to me. And they called them. And they called me like just a couple <laughs> days after I applied. I'm like, Savannah, Georgia. And that man I, said Savannah. I'm like, where they say? <laughs> I knew where it was, but where yeah, she said? she definitely didn't. Man, oh boy, it's crazy. Good times, you know. Yeah, but, it's been a journey. It's been a good journey. And uh, would you suggest? Oh, oh, I got a good question. Okay, question time. Would you suggest or advise someone to move away from their family with a spouse? Why or why not? Well, would I advise it? Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's situation is different. Like, I can't, I can't just give a general, broad answer on that because, I mm -hmm. mean, 
yeah, it's good, but we were able. We had relocation assistance. You know, mm -hmm. the company that hired me helped us relocate. Like, it, it just really depends on the situation. And it also I mean, depends on your relationship. Mm -hmm. You have to be secure in whatever y'all got going on. And mm -hmm. if you're going to move away with a spouse, you have to be, I don't know, man. You, you just got to know. Mm -hmm. You got to know that that spouse is worth, is worth whatever y'all about to go yeah. through. I'm not sure if spouse means that we have to get married or not, but you guys know the picture. Partner, yeah. spouse. It's just whatever. You living with someone. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> y'all know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, you know it. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta know that y'all out locked in. Mm -hmm. Ain't no switching up, you know? Okay, another question. If you could change one thing about us moving here or do something differently, what would you do? If you would do anything differently. If I would do anything differently. Honestly. I got one. You still think it? Go yeah yeah yeah. Go. I wish, <laughs> I wish we would have had more money saved. Oh yeah. Getting here, um, it wasn't bad, but yeah, it would have been better. Yeah, if we did. Yeah, cause you got utilities, car notes, groceries, fun stuff, mm -hmm. gas, rent, insurance. Rent's the rent is insurance. One. Rent. Is the biggest one, honestly. Everything else Rent is like is so ghetto. <laughs> everything else is, you know, cool. But I mean, I mean, I don't like paying bills. But you know, everything else is cool. It's just when the rent comes out, it's Ooh. just like, damn, why it take that much money away from me? <laughs> we blessed though. Yeah, I'm not hey, complaining. hey, we're blessed. we thank God that we were but, that uh, we're able. Like you know, it's still ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, like I mean, if you do that, you have to make sure that you're able if you move away from home whether it's with someone or not i mean you have to make sure that you're going to be able to sustain it and thank god that we were able to sustain and we're actually going back by choice mm -hmm. you know so we're not being forced back home or anything you know it's it's a, oh, a we decision. could be here yeah we could stay we and could, we could be here we could be here doing great but and, and we could benefit from staying you yeah. know like we actually could benefit from staying like things you know, could really take a a high turn financially if we stay. I don't you know, know. about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, there's opportunity here. Like, it, yeah. Savannah, it, Savannah's good. Like, you're looking to grow a career. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of job, a lot of career opportunities out here. You know, just for our specific situation, yeah. we just feel like it's, it's better, you know, for us to go home, mm -hmm. especially for the brand. Yeah, and we're... We're big picture visual visual visualizers. Visualizers. <laughs> We're big picture visualizers. So I could one thing I keep thinking about is like, yeah, I can stay here and money wise that'll be good, but what else is gonna be good for? You know, like my sanity, my mental health, like I wanna be around family. I want to work on my brand as much as I can. I want I want you to be able to go play football with somebody because these people, I don't know, they don't like to play football out here. My nah, men like to play football. Nah, they don't. <laughs> they don't play flag seven oh seven, nothing like that out here. Like, please get it, him active. It's hard. It's hard to get them to go hoop, but they'll go hoop. You know. This man That's threw the football it. with me. I almost lost a finger. <laughs> I can't keep doing it. So we gotta get him home so he can play football. <laughs> Like, it's just so many other mm -hmm. things, so many other factors that matter to us, really. So, yeah, we're on the Memphis. Yeah. And, you know, another thing, you know, your girl has become, you know, a kind of a sports fan over the last two years we've been here. I she, am not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> nah, she she be watching them Grizzlies games. I'm talking about she she cut the game on before who I do. Who are the Grizzlies? And and we get to go home. I don't even know the Grizzlies. She hey, I get to take her the Grizzlies games all the time. Now, now that she actually like it. Y'all hey. can't deal with this. I don't like being a fan. I know this is beside <laughs> the point. I don't want to be a fan no more because Oh, you fake, man. I be so mad. And I be mad that I'm letting this game make me mad. <laughs> I'm letting these people I don't even know make me mad. If they win, I get nothing out of Aww. it. And I'll be mad. Doesn't she lost. sound like a new fan? Look at that. It's so cute. And an old fan. Because <laughs> I'm done. I quit. Whatever. Not I've had my heart that. broken by the Grizzlies too many times. Y'all watch sports. Y'all know how it goes. She'll be bad, won't she? Yeah. <laughs> 
Grizzly <laughs> seven. <laughs> You got anything else you want to give the people? Any advice for those wishing to move out, move away? Before you move, pray about it. <clears throat> pray about it. Ooh, I like that. Pray about it. I like that. And pray listen. Mm-hmm. Listen. You know, don't make haste decisions. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we, we did kind of have to make a fast decision when mm-hmm. we first moved. It's like, God, you want but, to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, it, you know... We had to think about it, but luckily, you know, we were already considering it because my current job, I was going to have to move anyway mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. So, so, like, it was like, kind of already in our heads, um, but we, we had talked about it a lot, you know, especially if, if you're going with a spouse or definitely don't want to talk to them about it. You mm-hmm. don't want to make a decision without them. I don't know anyone who would do that, but I'm yeah. sure somebody would. But pray about <laughs> it and talk to somebody else. Make sure that, you know, I mean, everybody's not going to agree with you, ever, you know, but you yeah. know what's best for you. you Shout know. out to our family, though. They were riding for us. They were like, okay. Mm-hmm. They didn't really give us any pushback. No. There was no pushback. I mean, anything they said was real, like, yeah. you know, but shout out to them. My advice would be, I love your advice. Pray about it. That's number one for sure. Uh, my advice would be, take the risk. Take the risk. Just make sure... It's a calculated risk because this is not like this isn't you're not making a dish this isn't mm-hmm. it's real life this is real life for you so take the risk pray about it if you're get if you get confirmation that yes you should be doing this take the risk but make sure it's calculated that's all we have for you guys on this episode of the be dynamic podcast make sure you subscribe wherever you're watching or listening um, make sure you check out our website, dynamicxfashion.com. Follow us on social media, um, TikTok, Instagram, Dynamic X Fashion, Facebook, Dynamic Fashion. And that's all I have for you guys. Thank you once again for joining me. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. getting on camera with you guys. But other than that. Make sure you guys continue to change, progress, grow, be dynamic. We're out of here. I hope you learn to make it on your own And if you let yourself just know you'll never be alone I hope that you get everything you want and